The next thing on our to-do list, now that we've got our plastic etc. sorted, is making some PCBs. It's a multi-step process, but it's quite straightforward. The first thing you're actually going to want to make, however, is an Amadron tablet. These are really, really cool. So you can put them in your charging station, and then you can charge them up with pressure. I can't remember where my charging station is, but you should have it from when you've used your pneumatic wrench. And when we go into the Amadron tablet, you can see it's basically a store. What we're going to do is go over to a chest and shift right click the chest. You'll see this little orange square inside. And that is where you're going to put your things. If you go into the Amadron tablet, you can um, sell and buy things. So for example, for 14 emeralds, we can buy a assembly program drill and laser. But in here, what we actually want today is a PCB blueprint. So eight emeralds, okay? So what I'm going to do is put eight emeralds, or more than eight emeralds, into my chest here that I've shift-clicked to note it for the Amadron. And then I'm going to go down, and I'm going to right-click this PCB blueprint. And what you'll see is there's a number one on here, orders in basket one. If I left click it, it goes down, right click, I've added that order. And you can add loads of orders if you want. You could do whatever the hell you like. You can also um, use middle click and shift left click, etc. There's a little um, slot information here, but I'm just right clicking to add this to my order. And for this tutorial, we only need the PCB blueprint. So, okay, we're going to press place order. And what you're then going to see is a drone comes down, takes my emeralds, you can see the emeralds in it, and it's going to fly off and it's going to come back with my PCB blueprint, which is crazy. This is really, really awesome. And this is where pneumatic craft gets really exciting. OK, if we look in the chest now, you'll see you've got a PCB blueprint. Awesome. As well as the PCB blueprint, we're also going to need an empty PCB. To make this in your pressure chamber, we're going to need some plastic sheets. And if you are using this in a mod pack, don't forget that you can actually use plastic from other mods like industrial foregoing. Uh, gold or copper nuggets and two redstone torches. And that will make you three empty PCBs and it needs 1.5 bar of pressure. Now, what's annoying is, for example, if you're like me and you want to use um, like mechanism pipes to input into your pressure chamber, it does work a bit annoyingly in the fact that it tries to put in one item at a time. So I could put in my three nuggets. You see one goes in, the other two come out. And then in a minute, the other nugget will go in. See, now the second one goes in, and then you've got to wait again. And then eventually the third one will go in. And we put in a plastic sheet. It should be two redstone torches. I don't know if there's only one in there or two. So I'm just going to put in... A second one just in case I've only got one in there. And now, as you can see, we've gotten some empty PCBs coming out. I've now got six in here. It does make three at a time. I already had three in here from earlier when I was testing this. So out comes from the output slot, three empty PCBs. So let's just use one for now. So what we need to now need to do is charge this empty PCB with sunlight. And we do that in a machine called a UV light box. Now the UV light box is very simple to make, but it will need a PCB blueprint, which is why we ordered one from the Amadron. So you make it and you just place it down with some pressure tubes. And then what you're gonna do is input your empty PCB. And you can see it does need access to sunlight and it will need um, one or more pressure. I've put a safe a security upgrade in here to make sure that the pressure doesn't go over. And I've put some speed upgrades. And as you can see, the success chance is going up slowly. If you don't have these speed upgrades in here, it will go a lot slower. The success chance you can let to get to 100% if you want. You can let it get to 80%. And you can add a threshold where it will push it into the output slot at a lower percentage if you want, like maybe 92% chance. I'm going to leave it at 98% chance. And as you can see, with five speed upgrades in, it really doesn't take very long at all. If you do get a failed one, because you've put the threshold really low, for example, you can put the failed one back into a blast furnace and be able to use it again. So as you can see, it's getting to 90%. And I'm just going to take it out at 90%. So you can take that out manually if you like. So now that we've got the empty PCB that is, well, sort of filled, the next thing we need to do is put it into an etching tank. 
For the etching tank itself, I don't believe is very difficult to make. No, it's quite simple. But you are going to need some etching fluid. Now, etching fluid is made, again, in a pressure chamber, a bucket, two rotten flesh, two spider's eye, and two gunpowder. So just put those into your pressure chamber. Um, oh, sorry, it's a, bu it's a bucket of molten plastic. So the plastic that you've made earlier, um, before you've cooled it into plastic sheets, get a bucket of molten plastic, and you put this in here um, with these ingredients, and you get your etching acid bucket. And you can just bucket this into the etching tank. You can just literally right-click on the tank from here, and it will put it in. And as you can see here, I've got some etching acid. So we then get the empty PCB, and I put it into this huge grid here. I don't know why the grid is so big, but as you can see on here, it's now got the etching progress. So once that progress is done, we will then get a finished PCB. Well, we, not, we won't actually. That's a complete lie. We'll get a... Um, unassembled PCB my apologies so you can see here empty PCB with the etching acid goes into an unassembled PCB with the unassembled one you simply just craft it with some transit transit transistors and capacitors um, and capacitors are made again in the um, pressure chamber with a plastic sheet a slime ball and some gold nuggets and the transist transistors oh my god transistor is made of a plastic sheet some redstone and some nuggets as well what i would do is probably just make a few pressure chambers at this point if you haven't already um for different recipes that you're using and probably make some big ones as well um where you can have more input slots and be putting things in faster to get these recipes going so once you've made those and you've gotten your um unassembled pcb that's obviously going to come out of our etching tank here when it's finished we then get the finished pcb and the finished PCB can be used in quite a lot of things. We've got a chunk loader upgrade for chunk loading, a programmable controller, assembly controllers, drone interfaces, assembly platforms. This is where the mod gets really, really interesting. You need them in things like your drones and your assembly drills, which we're going to be using in things like assembly lines. And you're also going to need them in things like solar compressors, you know, for your more advanced air compressors, a flux compressor, um and also micro missiles and things like that also including the pneumatic chest plate and boots etc that form the pneumatic armor and there you go that is how we make pcbs